Saints Sunday, we focus on God's faithful people. We shift our attention from the life of Christ to the people that Christ created by his life, his death, and his resurrection. And we celebrate those people today. We hear about them in our first reading this morning from the book of Revelation. Those countless numbers of God's faithful people gathered together around the throne, dressed in white, offering their praise to the Lamb who was slain. We remember them by name in our service this morning, all those who have joined the saints in heaven over those last 12 months since last All Saints Sunday as we gathered in this place and remembered their names and their names and their names going back years and years and years. This morning after the service, we're going to go out to the columbarium and there give thanks to God for all the saints who wait for his return there. Well, whose earthly remains wait for his return there. There with him, but the remains remain with us. Today we celebrate God's faithful people. And whenever we do that, we automatically think of one specific group, those who have died. We think about the saints who have departed on this All Saints Sunday. We hear about that countless number gathered around the throne and we say, oh, well, that's all of our loved ones who are now with the Lord. Guess what? That's not just people who have died. That number gathered around the throne that we hear about in Revelation that faithful people of God, dressed in white and offering up praise to the Lamb. That's you, too. That's me. And I'm not saying that's going to be you one day, someday, when you die. That's you today. That's you today. Does this look familiar to anybody? I know Ethel knows what it is. Okay, let me do this. Does this look familiar to anybody? What? I, somebody said it. This is one of the baptismal blankets that we give when a young child receives the sacrament of holy baptism, whereby water and the word, God claims that child. Where God brings about the words of our epistle lesson for today. See what kind of love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God, and so we are. Beloved, we are God's children now. There in the font, by water in the word, God clothed you with his robe of righteousness. Don't believe me? Just take a look at your hymnal. Just take a look at the baptismal rite. Everybody remembers what page that's on, right? Come on, page 258, right? No? 268? 278? Which one is it? Come on. You don't remember? It's 268. It's 268. After that child has entered the waters of holy baptism, drowned and died with Christ Jesus, and you were brought forth in new life with him, these words are spoken. Receive this white garment to show that you have been clothed with the robe of Christ's righteousness that covers all your sins. So shall you stand without fear before the judgment seat of Christ to receive the inheritance prepared for you from the foundation of the world. All Saints Sunday isn't just about the saints who have died. It's about you, too. Still don't believe me? Anybody recognize this? For those who are seated up front, somebody was really nice, they gave you the answer, confirmation, right here written on the hanger. This is one of the confirmation robes. Please note, it is not red, it is not fuchsia, it is not purple, it is not any other color of the rainbow, it is what color? White. White. And not because our confirmants are perfectly innocent and pure and never ever do anything wrong. If you think that, spend about two and a half minutes talking to any one of their parents and yet they wear white. 
They wear white because in baptism, in holy baptism, you were clothed with the robe of right, Christ's righteousness. You were made a member of the saints. Those saints of God gathered together around the throne. And guess what? That's today. That's here. That's now. Every time we gather together in worship, every time you come before the Lord to receive His gifts and sing His praises, you are part of that heavenly throng. Every time you come here to this table and receive the very body and blood of Christ Jesus into your hand, into your mouth, you're not just communing with the people kneeling at the rail next to you. You're not just in communion with the people who are sitting in the pews who had their turn to come up or who are waiting for their turn to come up. Every time you come to this rail, you are in communion with every person who has ever knelt at this rail. Those saints in Christ who knelt here 60 years ago, when the building was first built. 30 years ago, as the congregation continued to grow and flourish. 30 years from now, when we pray by God's grace, the congregation continues to flourish. But not even just all the saints who have been here. Here in this place, at this table today, you are with all of God's people. Your loved ones who have passed, your grandchildren, great grandchildren, perhaps yet to be born, and all the saints going back to the apostles, all the saints going forward to the day when Christ returns in glory. You are God's saints. You are that heavenly throng, clothed in white. Who are these dressed in white, and from where have they come? These are the ones coming out of the great tribulation. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. You are spotless. You are white. You are sinless in Christ Jesus. That's the assurance that God gave you in holy baptism. There in the font, you became his child. God said to you, I choose you. And took your sin upon him and gave you his righteousness. Gave you a home, gave you a family. So that no matter where you are, no matter how old you may be, no matter how alone you may feel at any given moment, you have a family. Brothers and sisters in Christ, a Heavenly Father who loves you dearly, and people who are praying for you and waiting for you. You are God's child. You are his beloved, holy saint. You are a part of that heavenly throng gathered around the throne. This Sunday, every Sunday, this meal, every meal, together with all who have gone before us. That is our hope. That is our confidence. Because the story of your life, the ending is already written. Written there at the font the day you were baptized. Reaffirmed as you stood before the Lord made your confirmation. Reaffirmed today as Christ Jesus comes to you into your hand, into your mouth, in his very body and blood to forgive all your sins. 
You are God's saints. One of his children, clothed in the robe of his righteousness, clad in white, standing before the throne this day and forever, redeemed, blessed, and loved. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Guard and keep your hearts and minds through faith in Christ Jesus, through whom and in whom you have life everlasting. Amen.